If you're into NFTs, you're probably aware of a project called Steppen that basically pays you to walk, jog, or run. And honestly, it pays pretty well. Well, I've been trying out Steppen for the last couple of days. And so if you're aware of that project, you might know that in order to even be able to use the app, you need an activation code. And you probably know as well that those are really hard to get. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over my strategy to get an activation code in under an hour, as well as tell you about my experience I've had in the past four days with Stepin. Before you even go searching for an activation code, I want you to make sure of something because activation codes, as I said, are rare. There's only a thousand coming out a day from Stepin and only a couple more coming out a day from the community. The way they come out from the community is basically once you spend 10 energy, you're supposed to receive an activation code that you can give out to a friend. So before getting that activation code, I want you to make sure that you have at least a thousand four hundred dollars that you're willing to spend on a sneaker, because otherwise, if you just get an activation code and then you realize that you don't have the money to spend on buying the NFT that will let you earn mint and flip. You're just stealing an activation code from someone in the community that might actually be able to use it in order to start playing the game because it is after all a game. Now that we got that part out of the way, here is the strategy to get the fastest activation code possible. It's not going to be on their discord. It's not going to be buying one from someone that wants to sell you. It's not going to be asking me in my Instagram DMS because I've got at least 50 DMS asking me for codes and guys, I'm sorry, I don't have a ton. It's actually going to be going on a social media platform that just got bought for $44 billion by none other than the spaceman himself, Elon Musk. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, you should be better informed, but basically it's Twitter. Once you're there, you're going to go to the search bar and either type step in code or step in activation. One of the two, then you're going to click on recent and make sure to refresh every minute eventually one code will pop out like this one right here for instance three minutes ago right here five minutes ago six minutes ago and people on twitter are much slower than people on the discord because as soon as a code is posted on discord it's instantly used i've tried i spent a couple hours trying to activate my account through discord i couldn't figure it out i got an activation code in less than an hour using the twitter strat just because there's a lower amount of people actually searching and more people actually sharing codes. Now, as I said earlier, make sure you have at least $8,400 ready to put into this project before you grab an activation code. Otherwise, it's useless. Now, let's move on to the experience I've had in the past couple days with Steppen. I bought my sneaker on the 26th of April for 13.6 Solana, which, as you'll find out, was a pretty good deal. Here's my sneaker right here with all its stats. It has pretty good stats. I went for a lot of resilience. I have 3.9 efficiency, which isn't the best thing that I can go for, but the overall score between efficiency and resilience on my sneaker is 13.2, which when you're looking to get one, what you really want is a lot of efficiency and some resilience. You're actually looking for a ratio of five efficiency for one resilience. But the way mine's going, I reinvested some of the profits that I've made in order to level up the shoe and my efficiency is slowly going up, bringing my return on investment closer and closer. In the past four days, I went for a total of 10 runs and I've made a total of, drum roll please, 25.54 GST, which if you ask me, isn't bad. At the all-time high of GST we saw it two days ago, that would have been worth around $220. At the current price of GST, that 25.54 tokens would be worth more around $100 to $110. Now, obviously, it's not all profit. Out of that 25, I had to pay for repair costs. And I have another video coming very soon about tricks and tips to actually earn more, make your shoe more profitable, including lowering those repair costs and not just by upping resilience. There's something else you can do. Anyways, since I've bought mine at 13.6 Solana, the floor price has actually risen a little bit. Yo, thanks for subscribing, Terrendell. Maybe you should subscribe too, because 84% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed and kind of feels not cool. If you did actually go right down there, subscribe and hit the like button, you totally deserve this little close-up shot of the dog that we haven't totally named yet. But hey, 
it's cute, right? As I was saying, the floor price rose a little bit. A bit more people got into the project. More people are now aware of it. That means demand is going up and the offer is staying about the same because of the low number of activation codes. So in a market where there's more offer and less demand, the price goes up. Meaning my sneaker that is now level six is worth between 19 and 22 Solana. That's a gain of around six to nine Solana or $600 to $900, which if you ask me in just four days is mind boggling. I am shocked. I wake up every morning, I open my phone, and then I just check the prices of the sneakers that are around my level with around the same stats. And I'm like, damn, this is going like crazy. Except that's not even the full extent. Two days ago, my NFT was worth between 24 and 26 Solana. I was thinking of selling it back then in order to flip it, and I should probably have sold it for around 22 to 23, because that means I would have taken my risk out, and with that 22, 23 Solana, now that the floor price has gone down a little bit, I would have been able to rebuy two sneakers and then mint a third one to gain four energy, meaning way more earnings daily. The price of GST wildly fluctuates, right? This coin is going absolutely crazy. It hardly cares about the market. Bitcoin goes down, GST goes up. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But if we take an average price of the token at $6, I've been making a steady $43 a day off of a $1,300 investment. If you'd ask me that's in a couple other projects, I haven't seen this kind of profitability anywhere else in something that seems like an actual steady project that might be going somewhere. For the moment, I've actually been loving step in. One mistake that I maybe did in the beginning was getting a runner shoe, which I have to run between eight kilometers an hour and 20 kilometers an hour. And there's no fast running. Eight kilometers an hour is already a good jogging pace. I'm not necessarily the fittest. I'm not necessarily the dude that will go out and run. So I will say that my legs do hurt a little bit from these past couple days, but I've been optimizing how I run optimizing when I run in order to get the most out of this NFT so that my return on investment is as close as possible. Now, if you want to know about all the strategies that I put into place in order to earn not 25%, but 30 to 35% more daily, let me know in the comments and subscribe. Now, I've never said this before, but when you subscribe, please hit that notification bell. It matters a lot if you do get a notification or not for the growth of this channel and so that I can keep making good videos for you guys. Now, I hope y'all are satisfied with the content. As you can see, we went a little pinkish, which honestly, I'm kind of vibing with it. That was my take on how to get an activation code and my first couple of days using the app. It was your boy Marcel, aka Smokehelm, and I'll catch you guys in another one. Peace.